Today I'm going to show you how to implement multi-region with AstraDB. First, I'll discuss a few of the benefits of multi-region. We can start with reducing the total cost of ownership. And you can do this by enabling every enterprise to have the benefits of multi-region, create multiple regions for every environment, and having localized data access where needed. Additionally, the pay-as-you-go pricing of Astra helps keep your TCO down. Multi-region with AstraDB will also reduce complexity and management burden. There's no need for capacity planning. There's no maintenance burden. You can configure this in minutes, which I'll show you shortly, and you can automate your software pipeline using our DevOps API. All right, let's get started by creating a database. First off, we're going to give our database a name and a key space name. Then we're going to choose a provider, either Google, Amazon, or Microsoft, and then select the area. And for now, we'll only select one region and create our database. It will take a few minutes for our database to create. As you can see now, it's in the pending state. After a few minutes, your database will be in an active state. So we can now add regions to this database. So we'll start off by clicking on multi-region demo. And then from there, you can see we have one region, US to East 1, and we are going to add regions. We'll just click here, and we're going to ignore the beta feature for now. And we're going to click the drop down. As you can see, we have two options, US West or EU West, and then add region. You can now see that we're in maintenance mode, and this will take a few minutes before we're able to see our region. When adding a data center in a region, all existing data will be automatically replicated to a new data center. As you can see, we now have two regions, and the status is still in maintenance. All right, now we have our status as active, so both regions are active, and you'll be able to add additional regions. As you can see here, you can add EU West for a third region. We won't do that right now. And you can delete regions. So US West 2, you can also delete if you'd like. You will not be able to delete the region that you created the database with. Now I'm going to show you how to access the CQL Council in multi-region. There's one very small difference, which is the drop down in the top right, where you'll be able to switch between regions. While switching regions, a quick note is that if you update your region, you will clear the council. So I'm going to just run describe tables in order to put some output in the council just to show you. So you can see we have some tables here. We're going to click on our drop down in the top right, and we're going to navigate to US West 2 and click on update. As you can see, as it updates, the council is now cleared, but you have access to it in a different region, US West 2.